Hey, it's DJ Mac, and I'm just going to show you a quick little feature on how to basically do quick fades in Ableton. Um, everyone pretty much overlooks this button right here. It's the fade button. Basically, it just fades the beginning and ends of your song or any audio clip. Um, when it's activated, it says it right here. It applies a 0 to 4 millisecond fade to the start and end of the clip. This is used to avoid clicks at the clip edges. So you know how you always have those pesky, you know, clicks and pops at the ends of uh, each of your audio samples and clips. Well, Ableton can pretty much get rid of that stuff. So if you're working with like, you know, multiple samples, Ableton lit literally just gets rid of those clicks and pops at the beginning and end of your um, audio samples so vocals all that stuff yeah so the way I was able to find this um, it's only visible in session view so while I'm in session view um, you can see it here but once I go into um, what is it uh, uh, a range review it disappears so it's only visible in session view now the reason I say this is important is because, um, yeah, it will save time, but also I was I was just poking around in Ableton and I was able to find it. Now, I'm not like an Ableton guru or, guru or anything, but um, I was at a studio where a, uh, you know, a seasoned professional, you know, kind of shunned me for, you know, using uh, a range review because he was like, oh, I mean, a session review because he was like, oh, only professionals use arrangement view in Ableton and and you know the amateurs um, typically I can I can tell who, who an amateur is <laughs> because they use um, you know session view and I was in my head I was like you know that that's not always the case you know what I mean I I've, I've seen a lot of pros use um, you know uh, arrangement view I mean session view for um, making music and making beats and I, for me uh, it's it's so much easier because I can you know, create so many versions of, um, you know, different types of beats. But anyways, um, you know, that goes to show you, like, not even the professionals even know about the fade button. Because if he did, he would have told me about it right then and there. But, um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Just, you know, just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that you can't find, um, you know, things that, these uh, seasoned pros, and I say that with, co with quotation marks, these seasoned pros don't even know about. So poke around. You might find something brand new. All right. Hope, so, hope uh, this knowledge was use usable for you guys.